Hey everyone, it's Encore's Man, and today we're continuing our series which LEGO Star sets you must have in your collection. And today we're talking about the sequel trilogy, which is the third trilogy in the Star Wars franchise. And before we get to it, I just want to show you guys the display, which I made for my LEGO minifigures, which look really fantastic. This is basically the display for only episode 3, like as you can see. And again, Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi having the high ground, and here's some sand, here's like for the Death Star, and here's another thing which can be really useful for your minifigures. And here's, I still have the Imperial Trooper battle pack that I haven't built. Let's get to the sequel trilogy. Starting now with episode 7, The Force Awakened, I have chosen two sets from this movie. I've chosen the set number 75102, Hoyas X-Wing Fighter. I remember they made another version of it back in 2015, but this is just a more updated version of it. I like the red, I like the orange and the black colored mixing up. You get in this set four minifigures counting BB-8. You got Poe Dimmer, Resistance X-Wing Pilot, and you get the mechanical dude that does everything. Really good, great set. I really like the design of this X-Wing. I think this is just the best design of an X-Wing from the sequel trilogy. And on the really awesome set from The Force Awakens, set number 75103, First Order Transport. This set is, well, first of all, I just want to tell you guys the minifigure selection is just fantastic. You got a Captain Phasma, two fire, I mean, stormtroopers, the stormtroopers that have fire equipment, and we get two regular stormtroopers and the two resistance officers, which is a great selection of the minifigures. First, I just want to tell you guys that this is a minifigure size like in the movie it was more larger than we got in the lego set in lego form and this set is just one of the fantastic designs to carry your troopers and has some pl playability as the either stud shooters and the like fire missiles on the building because this is more of all like a playable set for your kids now jumping into the second movie of the trilogy the last jedi set number 75200 arch co iceland training this set contains 240 42 pieces and has three minifigures. Only in this set you were able to get the Luke Skywalker from the sequel trilogy. This is an old Luke Skywalker as you can see has his robotic arm. Like this set it looks familiar with Yoda's hut. You get here Rey and Pork. The Pork is probably the main reason we're all buying this set because that is just such an amazing animal. Now next on the list we have set number 75188 Resistance Bomber. This is probably the best set to play with as a kid because it has so many play features and some really great functions added to the set. It contains, as you can see, five minifigures. So this is basically a resistant bomb. It just basically drops bombs. Besides of that, it has a really nice interior added, which you can place four or five minifigures. And you can place the three minifigures into each section of the ship, I would say. And there's some flick fire missiles added and spring loaded shooters. Jumping into the second best set from The Last Jedi, set number 75187 BB-8. This is probably the master build -a or UCS set but it's just a fantastic model. I really like that they added the little BB-8 version of the model like the minifigure scale version of it and it has a really nice display piece for your BB-8 and for your little BB-8 and it actually won the toy of the year basically 2017 was the year this was the best selling item I would say in the Lego store and probably the best set from the last Jedi movie set number 75190 First Order Star Destroyer but just as the model as they changed it looks really great. I like that they have like little space for Snoke, like the elevator room when he talks to Emperor Palpatine himself. Now, the most thing that I really wanted to talk about too, that the stud shooters actually mix with the ship. As you can see, the stud shooters don't show up. Well, the best thing about this set is the bridge area. I mean, this triangle room where you can put your Imperial officer or basically force order officers to the bridge. I really like the stickers that they added and the black piles, as you can see that we have for minifigures, which look really great. I really like that they have like a medical droid and the minifigures are included. You get the two first order officers, two first order stormtroopers, Snoke, and a BB-8 droid button, more like a imperial version of it. Now I have chosen only three sets from the Rise of Skywalker and let's start with set number 75240 Majors Von Grace TIE Fighter, which is actually a great set. I really like the design of it. It looks really similar to Dart, I mean TIE Advancer and a TIE Striker mixed up. So that is actually a really great addition. I really think that people have bad feelings about it. You get four minifigures, Princess Leia, and two more. I mean, you get a rebel friend or Princess Leia, a droid, and the pilot. For the design of the ship, I think it's a great model for your collection. The ship is actually contains some flick fire missiles, which are actually really great hiding in the set chest, such as the First Order Star Destroyer, which the such shooters were actually really great hidden, and I really like the design for this ship. Now, jumping into the second best set from the Rise of Skywalker, set number 75. 
257 Millennial Falcon. Sequel trilogy, we get two Millennial Falcons back in 2017, but I just think that this is a more greater model. Just, I think this model looks a lot better than what we had in 2015. The set retails for $160 right now. So it's still available at stock and you can buy it in your closest Lego shop or Target, Walmart, and whatever, basically sets places that Lego sells. So this set includes a lot of minifigures, I would say, Lando Corizian, Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2, Finn, the, probably the most valuable minifigure in this set, a droid, and a really great figure for your collection. I should say that this ship has actually a lot of great interior. I think the best thing that makes this set so unique is the minifigure collection. I really love the Lando Corizian added for this set and basically don't see him often in Lego sets. Cloud City, which is probably the best design which you can give to Lando, you have to pay a bigger price to have that minifigure. So this basically Millennium Falcon, I think is my personal favorite. And if you're thinking to buy Millennium Falcon, this is the choice for you. Now, drama please. Number one set from the Rise of Skywalker and from the sequel trilogy itself, set, set number 75256 Kylo Ren Shuttle. This is the best set. We actually had it in 2015, but it was like in a gray color. It didn't have those full molded wings that we have right now. So yeah, that actually set got, got a lot of hate and they remade it so great. I think the box are even matches for the set. You get, sorry, now we have Kylo Ren, leader of the Knights of Kylo Ren, Sif Trooper, Storm Trooper, and the two Knights of Ren, which look really fantastic. The ship itself looks really gorgeous, fantastic, I would say. It has this really great red for the cockpit, I would say. Like the minifigure selection and the build itself looks really fantastic. And if you and everybody is going to come into your room and say like, hey, that is a set from the sequel trilogy. I really want it. It is the best set from the sequel trilogy itself. So you guys, this is probably the best set from the sequel trilogy and from the rise of Skywalker itself. So what do you guys think about this list of Lego Star Wars sets you must have in your collection? Sequel trilogy. This is not the end for the series. I'm going to have more series based on other themes. So if you have any of your ideas please let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with my list please let me know in the comments or if you wanted to have your own opinion on this list please let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video you hit the thumbs up button and if you really like this video thank you guys so much for watching this long and i'll see you legends in the next one peace out